Ready to go? Right. Let's get moving. Come on. I'll show you the way to the Veil Jumper camp. on bed rest, and some of our most experienced fighters are still missing. We're running out of veil jumpers. Whatever's going on out there, it's scary. Hela Milva never reported back from Demeter's crossing. There are a hundred people living in that village, or near enough. You're back, and you're alive. Good. Sounds like things have gotten a lot worse since we left. Darkspawn. They're showing up all over Arlathan, attacking anyone in their path. We've evacuated three daily settlements already. We ran into Darkspawn, too, near the Nadis Durthalan. Wait, you found the Nadis Durthalan? The Archive Spirit? We could ask it about the gods, figure out their next move. If it weren't broken, maybe. But we're not getting anything out of it anytime soon. Meanwhile, bell jumpers are disappearing. Something out there took them. I know. But maybe, if we find them, we find the gods. Or at least some sign of where they might be. But Arlathan Forest is huge. Where do we even begin to look for them? Demeta's Crossing. What? Irulan and Strife, when we came in, you said you'd lost contact with Demeta's Crossing. We could go check it out. The three of us, I mean. You mean four? You're not leaving me behind. You were just wounded. We can... You'll have to tie me up to keep me here. I don't know what you're going to find there, Rook. Likely nothing good. But you'd be saving people. And it might get you on the trail of the gods. Demeta's Crossing's on the far side of the lake. There's a small boat at the docks. It'll take you there. Watch your back out there. And good luck. to get there. Let's head to the dock. We are prepared. What you hear about Demeter's crossing? Veil jumpers have gone missing. Do we know why? Someone will have to go out there and find out. Bits and bobs for just the right price. And now that we've met, do your best not to die, yeah? It can be rough out there. <laughs> yeah, that's the plan. If it gets too rough, just come back and I'll square you away with better bits and bobs. See ya.
Sounds like a lot happened here. What hasn't happened? This area is where Tevinter Magisters destroyed Arlethan City centuries ago. A whole lot of blood magic during the war. And now? Whatever Solus did stirred up everything again. The old blood magic from the war never went away. Ancient relics appear out of thin air, ruins float. It's like an old wound that never healed. And now it's bleeding again. Rook, you ready to go? Giant Owl. Must be something to this.
Harding, you sure you're up for this? I'm fine. I need to get back in the fight. Then let's go. I've never seen fog this thick in Demeta's Crossing. This isn't right. The dock usually has people bringing goods to market, bartering and shouting. It's always busy. Something happened here. Stay sharp. It's so quiet. Too quiet. Where is everybody? It's market day. People should be out selling eggs and buying bread. But everything's just... abandoned. They barricaded the main entrance into town. To keep something out? No. To keep something in. <gasps> it's blight. Even worse than in the forest. Keep them in. My... You okay? What happened here? Keep them inside. Listen to the mayor. Hello? I don't think he can hear us. Everyone has to stay. No, you can't leave. Hey, can you hear me? Just stay here, and everything will be fine. Someone used powerful magic to dominate the minds of these villagers. We need to search for survivors. Let's see what we can find. Fan out. This is Adeline. I knew her. She was a farmer. Sold spices to us. The best in Arlathan. I can't believe this happened. Look at that. This blight is weird. What was that? Something big. Stay sharp. Over there. Two more survivors. Hey, what's going on here? Find the Veil Jumpers. Bring them to the mayor. They're talking about Jahel and Milva. They said bring them to the mayor. If we find the mayor, then maybe we'll find your friends. Why were they looking for bail jumpers? What did the mayor want with them? More 
people. Must round up everyone. Must get them inside. We will be rewarded. That's one of your fellow Veil Jumpers? Valara! Jahel! He's alive! Valara! We're, we're going to help you! We'll get you down, Jahel! No! Listen! The gods... the gods have returned. I saw them. I heard their voices. The gods did this? A blood ritual to release the blight. And the villagers, they said they needed power. Valara, be careful. That sounds close. the mayor of this town the village the people are they uh... blighted dead all of them you gave them to the gods didn't you didn't you they were in my head infecting my thoughts they made me do it please help me you're not going anywhere until I get the full story I tried to protect people. You have to believe me. The gods told me to lure the Veil Jumpers to the center of town. The others were to be rounded up and kept safe. They would be the first to witness the glory of Gillanane's new creation. She showed me gold. So much gold. So you brought the Veil Jumpers to the middle of town? For a blood sacrifice? Because the gods needed power. Did you know what the gods would do? The Veil Jumpers, they were just strangers. I thought if they were taken first, everyone else might be spared. So you did know? The gods exploited his greed and fear. I'm supposed to feel sorry for him? 
I say we leave him right here. But I'll die. The blight. Everywhere. What if the dragon comes back? If we let you go, you'll run straight back to the gods. They were in his head. Their influence might linger. I understand what they do now. I won't be tempted again, I swear. Rook. Let's get him out of there. What? This entire village is dead because of him. I know. Then why spare him? We don't kill people. Not like this. We're not murderers. We're not like the gods. Thank you. I didn't ask for your gratitude. Then, if I may offer some advice, steal yourself. I felt their power. The promises they make, it's, it's irresistible. Then try harder next time. Don't make me regret saving you. Yes, of course. But you should be worried about the rest of the world. Or this will be our future. The fade had opened, and the gods were free. Thanks to Solus, they'd woken up to find their empire, their subjects, even their fellow gods, all gone. But they still had the power of the Blight, and corrupting a village was just the start. They made plans to tap more of the Blight, all of it, to rebuild their empire. As a path to power, it had its costs. And everyone would pay for it. Did you find our scouts? They're dead. I'm sorry. Elganon and Gilanane sacrificed them in some kind of ritual. Creators. What about the rest of the village? The ritual spread blight everywhere. The entire village was overrun. The few who survived are controlled by blood magic. Their minds are gone. Elganon and Gilanane use them like puppets. I dare say it was a show of force. They will not rest until you are on your knees, fearful, cowering, helpless in the face of such power. Lady Morrigan? Tis simply Morrigan to you, Scout Harding. What a pleasure to see you again. Rook, this is Morrigan, an old acquaintance. 
I thought she could help. Morrigan helped the Inquisition when Varric and I were part of it. She knew more about ancient magic than anyone, except Solus. Twas both pleasure and necessity to help then, as it is now. Stopping Elganon and Gilanane shall require many hands. Then I look forward to your help. How refreshing. Your cooperative nature is appreciated in return. What can you tell us about uh, all this? As dangerous as Solus himself may be, his imprisonment of the gods was just. To leave them unchecked would have been the very end of Thedas. This is our fault. When we interrupted Solus's ritual, the gods escaped. Would those feelings not be better used to put things right? But how? Set aside your notions of godhood and see them for the ancient, powerful mages they are. Standing against them shall require serious magic of your own. When you interrupted the Dreadwolf's ritual, did you happen across any of the tools he used? He had a dagger, but it got lost in the chaos. Then you would do well to find it. It is better in your hands than those of the gods. Is there anything else Solus might have had that could help us? We're in his, uh, well, he calls it the Lighthouse? Ah, yes, the legendary sanctum of the Dreadwolf. Tis said his Illuvian, the Viravas, could travel to any other Illuvian of his choosing. That's not how it works right now. It only goes to Arlithan. I can take a look at it, maybe fix it even. I know Illuvians better than most. Any help you can offer, we'd appreciate. If Illuvians even work the same way, all the magic is different now. Our gods are back. Our gods! And they're killing people and blinding the world! How do we stand up against that? None of us can do this alone, but we can stop them together. Alara, you're one of the only people in the world who can get our Illuvian working. Harding can track down the Lyrium Dagger, and Nev can spot any clues we might miss that give us more information. Let's get to work. There's a lot of fight ahead of us. Indeed. Prepare yourselves well, and have a care in your choices. These are the times in which legends are born, or slain. In this battle, I shall render whatever assistance I am able. Right. Let's move. can do this, Lace. It's gotta be done.
should have taken the shot. That would have made things worse. You don't know that. All you have are guesses. We're up against something unfamiliar, working with more rumors than facts. Of course that's all I have. I should have taken the shot. We shouldn't be at each other's throats. I'm not. Nev, I'm not. I don't blame you. Or Rook. Or anyone. So just yourself? How's that working out? Tried to stop the world from being swallowed by chaos, and now it might be swallowed by chaos anyway. Elven gods escape from their prison, Solus is in your head, and we're scrambling to figure out what to do. And Varric? Varric knew the risks. He knew what it might cost. We're still standing. The fight's not over. You know, I like that about you, Lace. You don't stop fighting. You push for answers and action. While I can get stuck on questions forever. Well, we need someone who can put the pieces of the puzzle together. We're fighting the unknown. Exactly. Everyone has a part to play. Varric brought us together because of our strengths. He wanted a team he could rely on. We have to be that team. Play to our strengths. And rely on each other. I think I can manage that. Then let's find Solus's dagger. It'll be a start.